Hey, good morning everyone. It looks like a beautiful one out there. The sun is rising, the birds are chirping, smoothies are being done downstairs. So I thought I could bring you with you on my morning walk, a walk that I take every day, and show you some of the spots where I make some of my images on these walks. Some of those images will look familiar, but this walk starts here on the balcony. It's a very nice view from here. You already know that pier and the many images that I made of that. That uh, swan there, the fake swan, I made images too. That tree at the other side of the uh, channel, more images. This flag, I made images too. The uh, neighbor's pier, I made an image of that not too long ago. So this is going to be a quick walk around the neighborhood, a short loop of one and a half miles. It takes me anywhere between 25 and 40 minutes, depending on how many photos I take. I usually walk longer in the summer, but right now the sidewalks are full of snow and ice. So it is what it is. So it's warmed up in the last few days. It's not as cold as it used to be, but still the wind chill can sometimes feel cold. So it's better to be ready. All right, let's go. Right away, this light. This is just a residential neighborhood. There is nothing special around here. But as I said, it's next to a lake. So you see a lot of boats like this uh, Tiki Bar <laughs> boat right there. More boats behind me. We are now three blocks away from home. This is a lot where they keep some of the boats. I've made images here of this fence with the trees. I've made images on the other side. There is another fence here on this lot. Sometimes they have more boats. I've made a lot of images of those storage or containers. That's the marina. There's like a, another cool view of the channel here. And this might look familiar to you, this uh, warehouse here, because I've made a, a few images of that. It's a very clean place and I really like what it looks like now with the snow. This is another place that might look familiar. I love those two trees against that shed or the structure, uh, part of an apartment building complex there. You can still hear uh, the machinery working at the marina. We are now just probably six to seven blocks away from home, so it's still pretty close. We're gonna take a little detour. There is a bridge here with another nice view of the channel. This is why I don't usually come this way in the winter because the sidewalks and the shoulders of the road are in terrible shape. But this bridge offers another nice view of the uh, channel. Not a lot of images I made from here, but it's still a nice view to get every morning uh, with the sunrise. I actually think I did get a couple images from the other side of the bridge. So let me show you really quick. It's still pretty close to that apartment building complex. We have this uh, little field with a few trees. They might not look like much, but with the right conditions, this place can be really, really beautiful. And I've made quite a few images here. Pretty icy here. Anyway, just uh, next to the trees, we have this pretty cool shed where I made a couple images of the fence and the shed itself is kind of cool. This place is uh, pretty cool too because there's usually deer. They are not out today, but it's something nice to see. They are beautiful animals and I, I just love seeing them around here. It's uh, the sidewalk right now. It's just gone. So another quick detour. This is not part of the walk, but there is a cool cabin slash shed that I want to show you right here. So that is the shed I was talking about. I call it cabin, of course. It's not a cabin. It's a shed that is used in the summer for a farmer's market, but now in the winter it's closed. And I photographed that shed during a winter storm, during a snowstorm, and I thought it looked pretty cool. It looked like a cabin in the middle of the forest. Nothing farther from the truth. There is a family dollar there and more grocery stores and fast food places around here. But yeah, pretty cool spot. We are now halfway in this uh, walk. We have another view of another 
a channel but this is probably the most boring stretch of the walk at least for me i've never made uh, any images uh, here for some reason this is a much much nicer section of the uh, walk because there is not so much traffic and there is actually like pathways for pedestrians which is not very common around here so it's a uh, very nice i've made a lot a lot of images around here over the years i'm only gonna show you a few of them of course one of them is a photo i took in 2019 i believe of all of those lights disappearing in the fog it was a beautiful a foggy morning. This is another recurring scene in my work. It might be hard to recognize now with all of the snow, but this scene really works in the summertime, in the early morning, uh, because the light from the rising sun reflects the, on the pathway that is white, and that contrasts so well against the dark trees and the dark grass. I love this place. I love this spot. And, but yeah, it doesn't work right now. I've tried to make images of those trees back there because they are beautiful trees, but I don't think I've succeeded just yet. Maybe I need different conditions, maybe I need a different lens, I don't know. But in any case, this is a cool field here. It's empty besides a couple benches and maybe a couple picnic tables. It's used basically as a parking lot, but I've made a few images here. This is another one that I haven't been able to make just yet of this volleyball net. It looks beautiful now with the snow, but the background is so busy. I would need to be in, in an elevated position or something. I just need a drum for that, I guess. We are almost done with the walk. The last spot I wanted to show you is one that you already know pretty well, I think. This is uh, sadly the only uh, place, the only spot where we can get a view of the actual lake. As I said before, most of the shore is just private property, private houses, so there are not many uh, spots where you can get a view of the lake. As you can see, people have been walking on the lake here. It is frozen, but I believe that is very, very thin layer here, and I, I rather stay dry. <sighs> we are back home. As I said, it's a quick and short walk just around here around the neighborhood. But I'm hoping that it goes to show that you don't need a lot to create good images. Some of the images that I show you, I like a lot and they were created just right here. I hope that this uh, inspires you to do the same, whatever you may be. And just uh, be patient because it takes time. The images that I show you today were created over the years. They were not created in one day or one weekend. You just have to wait for the right conditions and most importantly, be ready for when they come. That's all I had to share for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.